Hello my lovely Sigita, this very close up video. Right my lovelies, today as you can see nothing about journals. Today uh, I just my, you know, my lovely, please don't pay attention for my nails. Uh, only thing I can say about nails, the best um, nail and finger varnish is um, a coffee staining and you know gardening you will never get it off you know when you paint your nails it goes off quite quickly but if you, if you do coffee staining or echo dyeing you know you will never get off, <laughs> off of your nails anyways uh, today uh, what actually was thinking last time I showed you these uh, envelopes let's zoom out a little bit Oh, that's too close for my finger. These envelopes, I was explaining that, you know, papers. I, um, this is, um, large book pages. They are thick and shiny. So I, I wasn't sure how and where I can use them. Uh, the animals, okay, fine, but uh, these kind of pictures, apart from this one, I can't really use. So what's my point is, papers, you don't know how to use. Let's turn into envelopes. So what I did, I coffee stain them. And look, when I fold it, you don't know that there is a horrible spider on it, right? So it's nice, thick coffee stained envelope and texture is really nice and thick so what I'm going to do and these small ones was left over from a, that one page and I got one small one as well so let's fold envelopes I'm not saying you have to fold just from uh, papers you are not using any kind of paper you like but this is how I thought I can use papers apart you know collaging on or something else I can fold envelopes because pictures on it you won't be able to see like or you will be able but you won't be able to understand what kind of picture it is so what do we need is square I will take this one because here is like these punches and I have to cut them off. Right, any paper, any size we can, and how we can do quick square. Right, you know what, where am I? I think I have to zoom in a little bit more. This will be quite interesting, okay, because I'm standing up. Just want to make sure you can see. So you are folding to make a square. I'm not measuring. That's boring. Okay. And I'm measuring if I do, you know, for a uh, uh, for 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 what is name uh, orders. Then of course I me measure because you know orders order. This is for journals. Any size is fine. So what you have now, look, you have square, right, with one fold. And now we fold seconds, like, corner to the corner to make a little X in the center. Right, you can see. Now we are turning this way. Anyway, actually, anyway, it's fine. Uh, we need was one of these lines, you know, not somehow. We need one line straight because this uh, bottom corner we are folding up to the center, right to the center, right? And opposite one, you turn around and opposite one, you are folding to the center too. And see, you can already see how envelope is coming, right? So probably you have to look quite a few times. I, I am trying to show you a slow, but right now we are forming bottom of that envelope. And now you have to decide see, if you fold in a half, it doesn't work. So what you need 
you need to decide how high you want your actual where did I put it this part you have to this part now we are folding this part here okay this one you have to decide not up here but this one you have to decide how high do you want it let's say like that and you fold down right so you have fold like that this corner is here and this corner is lower so you need to fold away that this corner is lower than this corner okay right now we are forming this flap inside we have to pull inside and create this fold here like opening fold so way what i do is i turn it backwards because what we do need to do quite precise so where where i am actually folding this way here i think not really I see. So, what do I measure? I'm folding back and I have this fold to be on a corner of this fold here. Okay, like this one here. I can fold back like that. Right? I can fold back like that. I have that fold to touch exactly line here okay like this one here can you can you see is is fall is touching this core uh, you have to make a little corner you have to touch that line not over not lower but right on that line so when you practice it it will go quicker so you touch that line now what you do is simply turn it back and see you are nicely forming this uh, opening a uh, fold here this is why it's, it's important to finish right on that line and now you create and you are folding back inside and then afterwards you will glue it down it will create nice like it uh, inside fold right that's that and then again very press why I, I can't if you can you can like straight away you can put inside but I can't see these lines when I straight away uh, fold inside that's why I'm folding from outside I can see exactly where these uh, points are, these lines, and afterwards I'll just simply fold inside. And another really important is we have to fold it down to make a flap to have precise measurements. Right? Actually, it's really good to fold them. To fold them on a crafting mat, then you have um, lines under, and you exactly can see how to fold. And that's it. You created your envelope. So, and as well, when I fold it down, I go little bit over to make little like um, how do you call little corner not to not to fold down exactly where this corner is like corner to corner but a little bit lower so when you fold you don't fold right in a corner but just few millimeters down just a touch down okay and that's it you have your envelope right and yeah, it's something there, but you don't know what it is. Right, like here, some face, but that's about it. So now gluing. Of course, when you open like that, I am using, I'm not using glue stick. Glue stick uh, 
it can't doesn't really work because you need a line but you can try I'm not saying it doesn't work doesn't work for me but um, you can uh, try I'm using wet glossy so right so where do we put your glue on on a side here then we go over because that flap we have to f um, glue down like that right so what we do we glue a flap down first and then we fold it down so this again why you don't glue here you put glue up here because this line uh, is shorter than back line front line is shorter than back that's why you start from here not from not from here you start glue putting down from here just the front side so flap goes down first and then you just push it down and what else I want to do I like to put in some paper to make sure it's not glowing to the back which happens a lot so it's quite yeah it's quite a little bit you know a uh, thing to do but if you like try uh, more than one you will work it out and then you can like um, where is mine and I like that um, corner punch because the paper is nice and thick to round uh, that flap corner looks really nice you can decorate you know whatever way you like as always so yeah this is what ah okay and now I have small one so what was left very sh small paper and as well as paper but I want to make it square so I just fold in a half I will show you on one small on a smaller okay you open and you fold over another part to make it X right now lines are going down bottom to the center turn around and bottom to the center then turn on the side and then we are forming our envelope so shorter than back line then I'm folding back to make sure that flap is going to be straight uh, and touching these back lines I'm folding back inside and then front flap and you have envelope <laughs> that's it nice and easy nice and easy is just you know because I was folding that for quite a long time this uh, little bit broke because of coffee staining and that's fine so I just glue it down and I have second envelope so my lovely yes yeah, this was uh, what I wanted to show you because I think we love envelopes we do use a lot of them so you can try uh, print paper, just, you know, um, normal copy paper or print paper uh, works fine. Yeah, because I all, uh, most of the time I'm using a uh, white coffee stained print paper, matte paper, lined paper, any paper, scrapbooking paper, you know, you can fold any size. All you need is square. So my lovelies, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please ask. And uh, yeah, I'm not working on on journal yet. I'm not working more, let's say, uh, because I found another project. I really want to have a look how that works out. If that what if that uh, project will not work out, will not. If yes, then I will show you. <laughs> right okay it's not about journaling is something you know i always time by time i want to i am going to somewhere else in different direction so um this time this, this is this time i went to different direction but i just want to have a little relax from my journals 
and yeah i want to try something but anyway okay my lovelies thank you so so much uh enjoy your week and see you very soon bye